Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. This is my Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel and can you take another second and hit that like button. You know, I'm back. I'm back after I think about 20 days without doing a video. That's highly unusual for me. But I'll tell you something, the last 25, 30 days of my life have been totally, totally chaotic. I had the flu for a while. The ceiling in my uh, living room, dining room, kitchen area collapsed because of rain got in. We had torrential rains here in Ottawa. A week before my wedding, I got married on September 3rd. I come down with appendicitis. I ended up in the hospital for emergency surgery. The day of the wedding, it poured rain. <laughs> it just accumulated and accumulated all this stuff happening in my life. And being an alcoholic, you know, I have to watch it a little bit, I have to watch my emotions and what I'm doing with myself when I'm walking through those situations because it was overwhelming at times. I got extremely stressed out. You know, I thought I was gonna lose my mind at some times. Not so much at the wedding, but with the, with the water coming in the ceiling, the appendicitis, the pain, doing the setup, all this kind of stuff going on that I had to live up to my obligations and my responsibility. I really did, like I couldn't let things slide even that I was sore, because I had like 65 people coming to this wedding and I had to make sure I was on the ball. You know, most of the time I was really slow moving, but I did what I had to do and things turned out really, very well. Everybody had a good time. The rain came, we all dealt with the rain, the band played, we all danced. You know, my family likes to drink. They were there drinking and everything went very well and everybody was pleased. It shut down a little earlier than I wanted it to, but I got married. We got married on the dock. And it was, it was a wonderful time, it really was. I appreciate everybody for showing up because, you know, I have an off the grid cottage and it's, it's, a little, it's a little rustic and some people are really not into it, you know, using outhouses and porta potties and all that kind of stuff. And I just want to say, you know, in sobriety, it can be overwhelming at times. Everything that I described to you in the video that I found overwhelming or sort of a hardship in the last month really had nothing to do with me. Like it had things to do with me, but I can't control my appendix. I can't control the weather. I can't control the way the wedding was going to go. If it was going to pour and rain there, if it was going to be sunny, I can't control those things. And there was a time in my life that the things that I'm describing in this video, if they were taking place, I would get totally overwhelmed. I start feeling sorry for myself, losing my cool, you know, feeling victimized, nothing turns out well, everything is crap. You know, this sobriety business, it's too hard for me. I'm too stressed out. I'm just going to have a drink. I'm just gonna drink and relax. And you know, that sounds really good, doesn't it? When life really gets crappy for us and we get all this buildup and all this stress, to have a drink really sounds pretty good, doesn't it? It really does because having a drink is instant relief. Take the drink, the stress, the expectations, the fear, the overwhelmingness subsides immediately. But you know, if we do not deal with what's in front of us on a daily basis and learn to grow from those experiences, we will never stay sober or we'll never be comfortable in our own skin. Life happens for us, not to us. Everything I talked about had really nothing to do with me. I was just an instrument. I was just there. And, you know, Murphy's Law, what can go wrong will go wrong. But the main thing is, and I'm very proud of myself, and I want you to listen to this, is that we just trudge on in it. We just walk through it. We don't give up. We don't pound ourselves and we don't feel like we're victims or the world's out to get us or I'm not gonna get this sobriety business because my life is so crap and things are not turning out the way I want them to turn out. Things turned out for me exactly, exactly the way they were supposed to turn out. And taking it one day at a time, leaning on people in the program, keeping an open mind and a willingness to participate in my life to the best of my ability really helped me through those situations. And it can for you. Life sometimes doesn't turn out the way we want it to. 
Life sometimes gets very overwhelming. Life sometimes can make us angry, can make us feel hurt. But you know something? That is just life. That's the way it is. It just sucks sometimes. It just sucks. It has really nothing to do with us. And to think that we're alcoholic or we're not working our program or we need to do more service or call on our higher power or work with is sometimes not really the answer. The answer is, is to stay calm and keep moving forward in our lives. Because I'm going to tell you something. I have a wonderful life. I have a wonderful wife that I'm very grateful for. I married her. It's my third wife. I've been in the program for another number of years. I'm loved. I got married. That's all that that wedding was supposed to be about. The rest is extra. I got married to a person that I loved. That's a good thing that's happened to me, right? The insurance looked after the ceiling. We're going to get a brand new ceiling and things are going to work out in that area too. The siding's all fixed out in the back. A guy did a great job. I could have looked at all this stuff that I'm talking about and got all upset, ruined my life, ruined my sobriety, felt like a victim, felt like garbage, that life is just ruined and everything I touch is garbage. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I looked at things for what they were. Has really nothing to do with me. I can't control the rain. I can't control my appendix. I can't control people, places, and things. But one thing I can control is the way I behave and how I handle life one day at a time. It takes practice, but in the steps of recovery, it's there, it's there. Open-mindedness, willingness, honesty, helping others, all those kind of things really help us deal with our lives one day at a time. A drink will not help us at all. It may give us temporary relief, it may do that, but it's not gonna give us the relief that we need in the program, in the life, to deal with life on life's terms without alcohol, without alcohol. The 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous or whatever group you're in will do the exact same thing for you that booze did for you. It'll teach you how to deal with life on life's terms. It really will. There's a lot to talk about in life. I mean, in the last month of my life, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. But there's one thing that didn't go on. I didn't lose myself in it. I didn't drink over it. I went with it and I did the best I could what I had to offer, what I had to work with. And I'm proud of that. I'm sitting here in a parking lot. I got three more weeks holidays. And I just wanted to share that with you. Gratitude and attitude is where it's at. Life is, is not a perfection. We don't have to act like it's perfect. We don't. We don't have to get it right. And I think that's one thing a lot of people have difficulties with. Thinking that when the crisis has come in their lives or the difficulties come in our lives, we have to act a certain way. Well, it'd be nice if we all could stay calm as a cucumber and just walk through all the storms of life. But it's not like that. It's not like that with me. You know, I got in a few little disputes with my sweetheart. I got frustrated. I got mad. I got all those kind of things. But it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't over the top. It was just, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there, little snippets here, there, and there. But I did the best I could. And I focused on the good things in my life and the gratitude I have. And life is just, it's great. It really is. It really is. It's great to do things sober. It's great to be in chaos and stand there solid like a tree in the wind, like nothing's going to bust you or nothing's going to hurt you. You know it's chaotic. You're just going to walk through it and do the best you can. That takes practice. It really does. We need to face things, reality. We need to face things exactly the way they are in our lives. We need to face that, be honest with ourselves, take action if needed, or do nothing if needed. But we need to take life head on, look it right in the eyeballs, and go for it, and go for it. Because you know something? I'm a winner. I'm a winner because of all this. Didn't feel like it, but I didn't drink. 
I didn't drink. I didn't lose my mind over it. I didn't fight with anybody, you know, all white battles. I didn't run away from it. You know, run away, running from things, doesn't solve anything, doesn't fix anything. I held my ground and I kept moving forward. And I reap the rewards. And if you do that, you will reap those rewards of feeling like, wow, I can do this life thing on life terms even when things are going rough for me, even when things are bad, I can do life on life's terms. Just show up, suit up, show up, and do the best you can for what you have to work with. And I'm telling you, it will work out for you. It's not about being perfect, it's not. It's about showing up and doing the best you can. That's what it's about. And that's the way I looked at it. I'm 60 years old and I know I got a lot of more living experience than a lot of people, but it's the same for everybody. We can run or we can face reality for what it really is. We can do that. And when you face reality, we grow, we mature, we learn, we get wiser, and we understand ourselves more in those crises when they happen. We understand ourselves a lot more and we, we feel more like, hey, I can do this sobriety business. Hey, I can, I can go through a few crises and still, still have a decent life. Yeah, I didn't handle it quite well. Next time I'll be better at it. But I tell you, people will respect you, they will love you for it, and they will see the difference in you. They'll see the difference. So one day at a time, people, I know it's not easy, but it sure in hell is worth it. This one day at a time business, not running, standing up, be responsible for yourself, work the steps, reach out, ask for help when needed. I had a lot of help. That's one thing I want to tell you. I had a lot of people come and help me. Can you help me with my wedding? Can you help me with my house? A lot of people stood up to the plate and helped us out. But having that ability to reach out and ask for help takes a lot for a lot of us. I know it does for me. To ask for help takes a lot, but it sure is worth it. It sure is worth it, okay? So like I say, I'm married. There's the wedding ring right there. So I hope you're all doing well. Sobriety is very possible through any situation, through any situation. It really is. Get your support network in place. Get your home group in place. Get a sponsor or a mentor or whatever. Get all that in place because when it hits the fan. When the turd hits the fan, you'll need all that just like I did. I am no different than with one person with one day of sobriety or 30 years of sobriety. No different. I'm still doing the exact same thing that I did in early sobriety. Reaching out, asking for help, and doing the best I can for what I have to work with, okay? My name is Terry G. This is My Alcohol Free Life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second and hit that like button? But leave a comment below if you like my video. Leave a comment below, okay? I appreciate you. I'm overflowing with gratitude today. I feel really great. It's hot like hell in this car. I turn the air conditioner off when I do a video just to keep the noise down. But I'm grateful today. I'm grateful for YouTube. And if I can stay sober, through my life, through all the BS I went through in my life, you can do it. It's hard, but it's worth it. It really is. And you'll never know if you do not give yourself the opportunity to find out, to find out. The miracle is just around the corner. The miracle is just around the corner, okay? So stick with it, move forward, and when going gets tough, just stand up and say, I need some help. I'm sober, I'm not drinking over this. This is not worth it, okay? This is not worth it, okay? See you later, ciao for now. Together we are strong. Peace, stay sober, stay safe, and ciao for now.